With Wimbledon starting tomorrow, we have to go through all the players that are injured and all the players that have actually pulled out of Wimbledon. Now, it's not as many as you'd expect. There's a lot more players prioritizing Wimbledon over the Olympics, for example, but let's go have a look at the players that have actually withdrawn and the players that are coming in injured. So starting on the women's side of things, and like I said, not too many names. Kvitova, of course, pulling out because she's having a baby. Benchich just had a baby, and she's also going to be missing Wimbledon. Kochi Areto, she is the first actual withdrawal that's pulled out due to injury, so she got replaced by a lucky loser in the draws. But like I said, there's a lot of players that are under an injury cloud that might not make it to tomorrow. The men's side, again, not that many names. Lehechka, he's pulled out. He pulled out of the French Open as well due to a back problem. Rafa Nadal, obviously prioritizing the Olympics over Wimbledon this year and not wanting to change certain surfaces from clay to grass to clay. And Mute, the first guy to pull out of the draw after the draw has been done. So he won't be there. He got replaced as well by a lucky loser. So only the three players so far pulled out. Now looking at the injury list. Now this is actually a lot bigger and a lot bigger names that are under an injury cloud. Started with Mukova. She hurt her wrist last week, which was the reason why she hasn't played so much tennis over the last 12 months. We'll see if she can rock up. Wozniacki. She hurt her knee last week and had to withdraw from her match against Navarro. So again, Another player coming in with an injury due to the grass tennis. Now, Sabalenka, she is probably the biggest concern on the women's side because she's even said in the press conference, I'm not sure if I'm going to be ready for, for round one. So she's actually playing on day one as well. So we'll see if she rocks up tomorrow with that shoulder problem that she's got. And Von Drusova, she hurt her hip last week or two weeks ago now in Berlin. Had to withdraw from that match. So we'll see whether or not she can actually defend her title at Wimbledon and rock up to her first match. On the men's side, only a couple of big names. Obviously, Novak Djokovic, he's looked pretty good this week. And he's come back from knee surgery, and he said that he feels ready to go. So still an injury concern going into the tournament, but looks likely to play. And Andy Murray, he is at the tournament, but again, he might not show up. You know, kind of like Sabalenka, you know, maybe, you know, wants to play, but isn't sure whether or not he is going to be ready for that first match. So there you have it. Not too many names that have actually officially pulled out, but a lot of names that are injured or coming in with some concerns. And even if they do play, it doesn't guarantee that they're going to be able to finish their matches or even play throughout the tournament. I mean, they might, you know, Sabalenka, for example, might play one round, shoulder's not that good, pull out in the second round. So keep an eye on these players over the tournament, especially, you know, obviously the big names, the contenders like Djokovic and Sabalenka. But let me know down in the comments below. Who are you going to miss the most at Wimbledon this year? There's not too many to pick from. I mean, Rav is probably the obvious pick. You know, Kochi, Aretto, and Mute pulling out with injury. I'm expecting that we're probably going to get another withdrawal or two before the start of play, or at least before the first round is done. But there it is. That's the withdrawal list for Wimbledon so far this week. Tournament starts tomorrow.